I'm sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. You okay? Yeah. Please say something. Dad, this is not going to go away. This is a part of who I am. Nobody... And Mom, it's not like I just woke up this morning and decided to be gay. This is something I've been carrying around for years. And now that it's out, I've got to talk. I've got to talk. It hurts too much to just keep it in like it's some sort of contagious disease or something. I lied because I didn't want to hurt you. But I ended up hurting you anyways, and I hurt myself too, and... I guess I was just so afraid. I was so afraid of seeing this look on your face and, and the disappointment in Dad's eyes, and not just for today, but for the rest of my life. Look, don't no. make any assumptions here. I know what she's feeling. She doesn't have to say a word. I know she hates me. But I didn't know for sure. And then with Jade in the picture. Oh, that's right, Jade. I, I found you two in bed together. Oh, what was that about? The whole thing with Jade was just, just for a fact. So you, you had sex with that girl to cover up this truth that you're so sure about? No, Mom, I never had sex with Jade. I never had sex with any girl. Well, that just proves that you don't have any experience to base this on. You're too young to know what you want. You can't be sure. I am sure. What about that massive crush that you had on Meredith last summer? Oh, no, we were just friends. What about all the other girls that come in no, and out of this house? We were friends. Not girlfriends. I, I never thought about them the way that other guys did, I guess. <sighs> Look, Mom, I can't even remember not feeling gay. Oh. <sighs> this has been a very difficult year for everyone, especially you. You were sick. Your grandmother's been ill. Your father and I got back together again. This is normal to be confused. I'm not confused. I think we need to give Luke the benefit of the doubt. This is a decision that will affect the rest of his no, life. This is not a decision. This is something that he's been dealing with for a very long time. Well, this is very new for me. Excuse me. Please, just don't be angry. I'm not angry. I'm so sad for you. I look at you and I just see my seven-year-old little boy running around this house. You should tell me everything. About what happened at school, about what happened with his friends. You should tell me all your secrets. Mom, don't what make this about you. This is not about... Well, it is about me. And it's about you. And your sisters. And your father. It's about us, our family. No, Mom. This is about me. This is about my life. He's right. So you're just, you're just willing to accept this? He's our son. This is who he is, and uh, we need to respect that truth. How can you be so calm about this? Don't you have any feelings about it at all? Of course I do. You're standing there like the voice of reason, and I'm falling apart. Mom. Luke, I, I think your mom has a right to her feelings. Don't talk for me, please. Lily, I think that Luke needs to know that we still love him and accept him. Of course I love you. Oh, 
Yes, I was wondering when you would show up. What are you doing here? I want to help. You can't help. Go. No, I want Jade to stay. How long has she known? Has she known since the first day she was here? I want to hear what Jade has to say about all of this. I already explained about Jade. No, I want to hear it from her. Lily, I think Jade should leave. Are you okay? I'm fine. My dad's right. Please go. I'm just trying to help by getting you to lie to us. I didn't think you were ready to hear the truth. Oh, stop it, Jade. The only thing you care about is keeping a roof over your head. And I was willing to work for it. I spent hours with the girls when you were in the hospital oh, and doing oh, the laundry. Please, La the only thing I remember about you is you being naked in my son's room with a sheet wrapped around you. I know, you. and I never should have gone along with that. I'm sorry. So this is all my fault? Holden, you were the one who pushed me to be with him to play the girlfriend. He practically begged me to make you straight. Shut up. Face it, Lily. The biggest liar in this room isn't me or Luke. It's your own husband.